Hi guys. I um <laughs> I'm kind of like on a wig making spree um and I just I wanted to try a very different kind of style um on Oscar. Uh as you can see the wig cap is already made and it's funny because it's white and the paper towel usually after several layers of mod podge it doesn't turn white. What happened was I opened the white acrylic paint and I dipped my brush in thinking that it was the glue and I went ahead and started painting it white and I'm like, what is happening right now? <laughs> and so I just, um, I just finished painting it white, let it dry and then put another layer of Mod Podge over that. And I was like, well, if anything, it'll just make the wig cap that much stronger. And it's actually pretty good. It's actually make it did make it a little thicker. And so that's the story with why it's white and not clear like uh, my other ones. Because you can see here that this is what the paper towel looks like, you know, after several layers of Mod Podge. And you can see it's not white. <laughs> but anyway, so... I found, well, I shouldn't say I found, um, but I did. I was on Etsy and I was scrolling through and I was searching K-pop art, like, like in specific, like, you know, hand-drawn artwork of K-pop boys, um, because they always draw them and they always look so, like, beautiful, right? As, as artwork. And so I found this one picture of this guy who I don't even know who he is, um, his name is Choi San, and I guess he's a Korean singer. Um, and he's just gorgeous, of course. Um, but anyway, I found this picture that somebody had drawn or painted of him, and the, his hairstyle in it was so epic. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try to make this wig for Oscar P. Now, it's kind of like a mullet, <laughs> but like... It's so cool and it's both black and white and so I am definitely gonna give this a whirl and so I'm like super excited to make this wig and I hope that it comes out the way you know it looks in the painting. Um, I'm not sure because like I said it's kind of like my first time ever trying Trying this kind of style, um, but <clears throat> this is uh, white alpaca hair, um, and so I'll be using this, and then for the rest of it, um, I've got some black, I think this is like mohair maybe, it is a natural fiber, um, and so I will be using the black for that, and hopefully... I can, you know, make Oscar this super awesome wig. So let's get started on that. I usually, this was an old wig that I never finished. And so I just cut the hair right off of it. And there I've got, I've got the hair to use. So you can't waste hair, especially alpaca, because it is the pricier you know, on the pricier end of, of wig hair. So, but it's my favorite because it, it is the nicest quality. Uh, and so I always, you know, use every little last bit of it that I can. So I don't waste it. <clears throat>
Hi guys! We're back with the rest of this wig making video. Um, if you saw my other wig making video I just posted yesterday, um, I mentioned that I didn't film the rest of the wig making. Um, that's also what I did with this video. Um, it was just gonna be too long and I didn't want to, uh, you know, keep adding more length to the video, so I finished it. Um, it didn't turn out quite like I was expecting. If you see in the photo, I will post, um, the hairstyle is a lot different. Um, but I am happy with how it turned out, so just let me pause for a minute so you can see the inspiration photo that I chose for this look. So like I mentioned in one of the pink little bubbles uh, before, I had wished I had kept some more of the length and I also wish I had made the white sections bigger so there was more peeking out underneath the black. But for my first attempt, this is not half bad. Oscar is looking pretty unhappy, <laughs> but... I like this look on him. Um, I kind of just did a top bun because I wanted to see if it would look how I was picturing it in my head. And I like it. I like it a lot better than I thought I would. Um, you can see the white in his, you know, back here, the white section. Um, and I love the way the bang because I, I combed it to the side and with a, you know, wet toothbrush, which is like my favorite way to style hair now. Um, and I, I, I just, I love this look on him. Uh, for some reason, he reminds me of a modern, uh, old school Korean guy. Um, if you, if you watch any K dramas that are, um, period period dramas, you know, back in the, I think it's Joseon era, where the men have long hair, but they wear them up, they wear their hair up in like in a top bun like this, um, and then the women wear their hair long, um, in a braid, and then when they're married, they wrap their hair up into a bun so that men know that they've been taken, but, um, so yeah, that's what he reminds me of is like a modern Joseon character um, where they wear their hair in a top bun like this, but he decided to leave some of it out like that. And so I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see this wig on my Oscar that's going to be finished pretty soon um, that Sheena's been working on. I don't know about keeping this wig on this Oscar. Um, I'll have to see what he looks like when he comes back from being painted, but I don't know. I'm kind of digging this look on him. I think, I think he can really pull it off. Um, and he still, and he still gives me those K-pop boy vibes because there are a lot of K-pop boys that do wear their hair long and they do pull their hair up like this in a messy half bun, um, which just makes them even cuter. So Anyway, um, <laughs> this was a trial and error wig. Um, I do like the way it turned out, so I'm not that disappointed that it doesn't look like the artwork that I was basing it on. Um, I am pretty pleased with it. So I, like I said, I can't wait to, to see it on my other Oscar. I wonder if he can pull it off because everybody is, uh, everybody has seen him you know, with that pink wig that is like so epically him. And, you know, Marina even took it upon herself to illustrate him with that specific look. So now I'm not sure if he can pull off other looks. Um, I'm kind of wondering if, you know, if he'll be able to still um, look good in other styles or if that pink wig will become his permanent wig. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, 
um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's like back to back wig making, but um, I'm kind of trying to like finish up my wig so that I can focus on my um, diorama commissions uh, because it's kind of hard for me to, to focus on on more than one thing at once because it's like I want to finish the wigs but the drying time doesn't allow for that so um, what I need to do is make you know make use of the drying time by working on dioramas and normally that's what I do but for like right now I just kind of seem to be all over the place um, I'm not really focused but um, I am really happy with wig making right now. And like I said, I am still working on a wig commission uh, for a, um, a new customer that messaged me on Instagram um, who just got a Lola uh, Patusa girl and wanted um, a braided wig for her. So I am making um, a braided wig with um, my Momonita here. This is her wig cap. And so I've got the braids and I'm going to start. And then she said she wanted uh, two space buns on top with the braids like I did with my top bun on on Glimmer's wig, um, but with, you know, two smaller buns. So that is what I'm working on next. I probably won't be filming that one. Um, I might just, you know, show the finished product on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there, go ahead and do that so that you can see what that wig looks like when I'm done. But um, for now, this is um, Oscar and Glimmer saying thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!